Okay, 13026 Heno. Uh, this is for McNeil Construction. Exteriors just about there. Uh, interiors sheet rocked. It's two vacation homes. That one down there. Um, I'll take a walk back over there shortly. And this one here. So interiors are all rocked and ready. Uh, this one's a full paint inside cathedral ceiling. Um, pretty straightforward. It's only like three rooms. So main living room here. We got a single light door, two of them, and they're paint grayed on the inside, clad on the outside. Windows, all paint grayed on the inside. So we got to fill some nail holes, and they're all bronze clad exteriors. Or pre finished, not, not bronze, but anyway, close to it. And then the bedroom, slope ceiling, and so interior is all taped and ready to go. Brad's got a whole large crew in here now. Bathroom, slope ceiling here. Let's see, one, two, three doors interior wise. Then the two single light glass doors, and one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten interior windows and they look to all be crank out windows. Um, all paint grade. That one there is fixed. That's the exception to the rule. So I'll take a quick look, look on the outside here. Okay, board and batten. YouTube moment. You guys want to be on YouTube? What's that? You want to be on YouTube? Uh, yeah. Not really. <laughs> All right. But I don't care. Hey, do you understand? So we got a clear cedar. I'm doing a video, so clear cedar roof. Uh, deck, as far as we know, is getting no treatment unless they add that. And you guys are gonna wrap these pillars, right? No. no? They stay like this? I think so. Oh. Yep. Okay, cool. So you got the industrial look. And it looks like the gutters are pre-finished too, to match the roof perhaps. That would be sweet. Yeah, this job's gonna be easy. So clear cedar soffits all the way around. It's gonna get a clear coat. So probably a, looks like an arbor coat. And we could probably just, uh, I don't know how we do this. If we do a clear and then have to uh, spray the body. And the body's smooth, so we don't really wanna brush that. Okay, I have to analyze this a little bit better. Okay, the main unit. So we got this big A-frame, clear. I think wrap those, uh, probably mask off those beams and spray the lid with the clear. Might be the best way to go. And these soffits, we could technically just spray them all the way down and think about how we're gonna, hmm. Okay, I gotta get somewhere where I can take a better look.
Okay. okay, back in the main unit here. So this whole ceiling, this is the first unit, will be all cedar. So that's why it's not taped on the lid. The walls can all be primed and be good if we can get in here before the ceiling gets installed because we can spray and roll all this primer. And uh, then we'll just cut and roll walls afterwards. Yeah, spray and roll the primer, let them put the ceiling in. We'll spray the ceiling with the clear and then come back and just hand paint the walls. That'd be sweet. Okay, then uh, the main bedroom. So you got a double slider, two crank out windows in here, all paint grade. One interior door will go into that opening. So openings are rough. Here's another one here. Another crank out window. This is the bathroom. So all paint in here. Um, and we have those four big picture doors. I'll get painted on the inside and then that door. Two smaller crank out windows there. So this is the kitchen area. So there'll be a kitchen island here. Let's see. Uh, Sheetrock's not finished, so I think that's going to get some other treatment. And then a laundry room. I think it's a laundry room. No, there's a vanity and a toilet going in here. Uh, I don't know if it's a shower or something. No, not a shower. I've got a window. Okay, so you got a wood window there. Is this a uh, laundry room over here? Yeah, this very well could be. I don't know what it is, but anyway, it's all sheet rocked. It needs to be primed. And then the outside. So cedar ceilings. Wrapping all the way around the house. And still no decision on the deck. And then a clear sealer on all this cedar.